Hi guys, this is Raul from Simply Learn, and today we are going to talk about the service Azure Active Directory. So, firstly, let's ask the most important question: What is Azure Active Directory? Now, here we are in a situation where we have two colleagues having a conversation with each other. So, one of them complains that he is finding a hard time managing multiple user logins at the same time. His friend suggests that he has a solution: that the company start using Azure Active Directory. He says that with Azure AD, they'll be able to handle multiple user logins without any issue. So, just like the question in all our minds, the friend asks, "How is Azure Active Directory going to help us?" So, to help you understand, let's think about a scenario. Now, you're an employee working for an organization, and you want to use a particular service. In this case, SQL database. So, you're assigned a set of username and password. Then, you want to use another service, a machine learning service. Again, you're assigned a different username and password. And likewise for any number of services that you want to use. So for every service that you are going to choose, you need to be assigned a new username and password. But this becomes a huge issue for the administrator as they have to handle a large number of username and passwords. Now, if you think about a large organization where there's more than thousand people working, you can understand how much of a hassle it's going to be for the administrator. At the same time, it's also a really difficult thing for you to remember that many numbers of username and passwords. It's difficult on the user as well, and that's where Azure Active Directory helps. Now, here's a scenario where we're applying Azure Active Directory. Now, you're an employee. You want to use a particular service, and you're assigned a single username and password. And with this username and password, you can access all the services that you want. So there's only one set of username and passwords that you need to remember. You can use any of the services that you want as long as the administrator has given you access to it. So what is Azure Active Directory? Now, Azure Active Directory is a service that falls under the identity domain. It allows multiple users and is a cloud-based directory and identity management service. Now, here's an ideal scenario: you're joining an office newly. The admin helps you sign up to whatever services you want, and you can access these services anywhere over the cloud. So, now let's talk about something different: Windows AD and Azure AD. Now, Windows AD was the previous version of Azure AD. So now we'll talk about why we needed to change from Windows Active Directory to Azure Active Directory. So what is Windows Active Directory? Now it's an OS directory service which allows you to work with multiple systems, multiple network resources in a unified manner. Now the biggest draw when it came to Windows AD was that it had many layers. Now different layers that did different bits of work. So now let's talk about each of these layers. The first layer is ADDS or the Windows Active Directory domain services. Now each layer as I said before has a different role to perform. ADDS allows admin to manage information relating to user logins and other details like when they signed up, how much they're using and things like that. The next layer is ADLS or the Azure Data Lake Storage Services. This layer is for allowing you to store any amounts of data of any type or size. Then you have the ADFS or the Active Directory Federation services where you're given a single option for sign up with which you get access to all systems and applications. Then we have the fourth layer, the ADCS or the Active Directory and Certification Services. This enables administrators to customize services and then be able to manage and issue public certificates. And the final layer is ADRMS or the Active Directory Rights Management Service and this is used for data protection. Now here's where Azure Active Directory changed the whole game. This means that there's a large number of layers that administrators need to take care of. Now how about there was a solution for this? And Azure AD is that solution. Azure Active Directory integrates all these five layers into two, and these are the Windows Azure Active Directory or the WAAD, where it combines all the problems when it comes to identification management, which is almost all five layers taken into one. And the Windows Azure Access Control Service enables the federation or the division of all these services of an organization. And by division, I mean assigning each of these services to these users. So that is taken care of by the Windows Azure Access Control Service. Hence, Azure Active Directory is able to simplify a lot of the problems that Windows Azure Active Directory had. For example, the application Office 365 uses Azure Active Directory to manage user identities. Here's how. Now you're an employee who wants to access one of the Office 365 services, which could be Excel, PowerPoint, Microsoft Word, or something like that. So you go talk to the administrator, and he gives you access to these services with the help of a single username and password. 
Now, as long as you have this username and password and the administrator has given you access to it, you can use any of these services. So who's the service audience? Who is using the Active Directory service? Now, there are three types of audience when it comes to Azure Active Directory. The first one is IT administrator, the second one application developers and online customers. So the IT administrators, their main emphasis is to ensure that the sign-in takes place. They take care of all the sign-in procedures. They also solve issues when it comes to authentication. For example, to authenticate a particular user, the problem is solved by the IT administrators. Then you have application developers who use these services to develop applications. And with this, they have an easier time developing applications as all these resources are easily available. You have online customers who make use of services like Office 365 and other CRM services and have all their demands catered immediately. So now let's have a look at how we can use Azure Active Directory to provide access to a particular individual. So if you log into the Azure account, this is what you see or you go into Active Directory, a list of all the people who are using or have been given permission to use resources from Azure. Okay, now we're going to create a profile. We need to set up his name, which is John and second name, Jacob. Now for properties, we need to determine the source of authority, which is already the Active Directory. So that's fine. We can select a group or add them to a particular group if we feel like it. Now, if we add them to a particular group, it means that they have access to all the resources that everyone in the group has access to earlier. So we'll do that later. We'll select their directory role or we can select it here if we need to. It could be user administrator or a limited administrator. And now we'll set up a password. So we already got one and we'll create. And that's it. We have created a user. Now we'll go to their profile. So what we can see here is that you have access to every bit of detail related to this account. So you have the name, your first name, the username, the object ID, job info, everything. You can even have other details like how often they've signed in, when did they sign up, you can check their password, you can reset the password, delete their account and so much more. Now we can even add a directory role which we saw earlier. And now let's add this person to the admin group. So, you know, he gets access to all the services that those people have access to and select. That's it. We've added them. Now, the other things that you can see here, there are applications, licenses, devices. These are all restrictions you can add or remove, like which device you can use the system through or with and stuff like that. So that's it. And with that, we've created a user and given him access to certain services. And with that, we've reached the end of another video. I hope you guys found this informative and helpful. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.